Um, y'all, uh, the, the game, the game spawned me here. Um, I'm having a, a bit of an issue. Martha, Martha, are you home? Shoot, if we try sleeping and then, ah, oh, there it is. All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Ranch Simulator. It's good to see y'all here. Let's check on our chickens this fine morning. It's 8.36 a.m. It looks like everybody's still alive. We've got our rooster. One black, one gold, and two white. Looks like we're uh, we're really... And we're going hard on the eggs, so that's exciting. I guess if I open this up, I'm going to want to pick these up and just drop... They aren't... Oh, they break. Let me just go ahead and try this again. Look at that. All right, so we're going to be able to pick these up and throw them in the basket so we don't end up breaking them. I was trying to be quick about it because you guys know last episode we had a hard time keeping the chickens in this thing. They try to escape and stuff. It looks like they're being good about it now once they're in there. But I wanted to, to not, not have to chase chickens around today. But that, that looks pretty good. I guess we could have left one of them in there, let them sit on it, give it a few days so they could eventually hatch, uh, uh, you know, chick. But um, I guess... I guess we're good for now. So today, I'm thinking we're going to take this thing down. This is, uh, I believe, our barn. Let me go ahead and check our, our build thing. So it looks like we've got an area right here. We can build a barn. Classic red barn ensures the safety of your livestock. It can be expanded and improved at additional costs. So this is where the barn goes. Obviously, before we can build the barn, we're going to have to demolish the old one. Grandpapa's barn is just uh, just not up, up to par anymore. So... We're going to have to take this thing down piece by piece, and uh, we'll see see if we can get something nicer built in its place. We don't really have a ton of money yet. Hopefully, we're, uh, we're going to be able to afford this by the end of the episode. We've got $544, so we're going to need, I think it's $900, right? Is that what it said? I'm pretty sure $900 to be able to build this thing. And then, of course, we're going to have to have all the wooden stuff, which we did do off camera last night. So, uh, go ahead and... Take this, th whoa! Dude, that was fantastic. I actually really like that. All right, so we've got a couple other little foundational pieces over here. We've got this stuff, demolish these benches. Don't want these guys here. All that's good to go. Do we want to take this thing down as well? It's kind of a little storage shed type deal. And uh, that's that. So obviously there's, I mean, this game, it has a lot of, you know, do something and then you kind of have to wait. Like right now we need to wait for our chickens to make eggs to be able to make money. But I also like, I don't want to do too much off screen because you guys, you know, you don't get to see how things change and improve and stuff as time goes on. Uh, last night, I worked late into the night. We have quite a few planks here. I guess technically we could always use more. So I'm going to, I'm going to start bringing these in. Honestly, it's really, really hard to work at night because you can't see. It's, it's so dark. I don't think there's any sort of a, a flashlight or anything like that, so it's gonna take advantage of all the daytime hours and uh, try to try to do our best, try to be as efficient as possible. But uh, we're kind of at, at a bit of a crossroads where we have no money. Grandpa, you gave me this farm with a bunch of dilapidated buildings that need a ton of work, and there's no income. But you expect me to be able to fix everything up with like the thousand dollars or whatever you gave me in your your you know chest upstairs. That's just. Uh, it's not really working out for us. Turn this bad boy on. Let's saw through a bunch of these. I mean, I would say, based off our house, I mean, I feel like a barn is so much more simple than a house. So I would think we're going to have more than enough planks to be able to build this thing. But um, I guess you can never be too safe. We'll eventually use all of this. I'm just, it, so far it looks like it, you know, lasts overnight and through saves and stuff. I just, I would. I would hate to do all this and then have this like despawn sometime. And that right there is a, uh, a wrap. Our girls here are hard at work. Love to see that. We've got two more eggs here in the hen house. I mean, eventually we're gonna have to build a really big one, get 20 chickens, and I mean, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make plenty of money with that. How are they doing health-wise? Looks like they are drinking the food. Maybe a bit of an issue. I, I mean, it looks like there's food in there. Let's, let's, here, give me, give me these, give me these eggs, please. Shoot, how do I, okay. I'm not going to be able to grab that egg, am I? Well, that one's going to be for you. Let me pick you up and place you back there. Nope. Pick that up. Going to be able to put that in there. I don't, can we grab that? Yes, look at that. We could have left it in there. Oh, whoa! Chelsea! Why did you just do that to me? 
She just pecked me. The other, ow, 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 ow. The other ones are laughing at me. Close it up. What? Why is she attacking us? Chelsea, get your hungry ass back in. No. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta place her all the way back there. Close it up. Close it up. Close it up. How is she? Oh my God. Attack of the killer chicken. What is this? Nope. I got a plan. Nope. What the fudge is wrong with you? Why is she? Okay. All right. I'm going to take my eggs. I'm, I'm leaving. I, I might not feed you. I might actually put you outside of the thing and let you die. I got to go for a drive. You know, sometimes you and your significant other get into these, you know, little, little arguments and tiffs. It's stupid little things. You just get hard headed and you just, you need to get out. You need to go for a drive and mentally reset yourself. I can't believe she was attacking me like that. After all these things I've done for her. Which is not much. Maybe I need to put a little bit more into this relationship. Maybe that's what she's she's trying to tell me. Two buckets of water and, and one bag of feed is, is just not enough. So we're gonna head to the general store. We're gonna sell all of these eggs. I mean, I, I hope I hope these chickens survive, man. I'm I'm a little bit nervous about it. We need to make enough money up to nine hundred dollars to be able to buy some livestock. Start with the pigs. I think you buy pigs at three hundred and then you need to, to feed them and you know, let them grow, and then you can obviously sell them for more, sell them for harvest later, which is um, kind of sad, but just kind of a, a way of life. Same could be said about these eggs here. I mean, it's, it's just country living, baby. Here we go. So I'm going to place these down. Let me see what we've got going on. Oh, yeah, pigs are 300. I think you can sell them for, for quite a bit more than that once they're they're full uh, fully grown. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's, let's buy a, a few bags of wheat. We'll say three of them. And then for sell, we're gonna sell all of these. So that's gonna bring our balance up to 610. Let's go ahead and check out of the cart. And um, that's about all we're gonna be able to do for now, unfortunately. Slow living, man. We gotta start out small. We're not gonna be able to build a, a farming empire overnight. We got to, uh, gotta start small before we become the, the Hidden Valley Ranch, baby. Babe, listen, listen. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You know I love you. You know I appreciate you. You know I do anything for you. You are my one true love, and I, I I brought you I brought you food. Okay, please please don't be mad at me anymore. Please. So it looks like that does it 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 ups the the level. So it looks like you can do you can do multiple, dude. That's actually really really nice. So let me let me go refill this again. Bring this bad boy back up. I like that we actually have to do the action there. So it looks, it, I mean, there's a little bit more. We might be able to fill it a bit more. That's, that's as far as we can go. That's the max. Okay. So we can, we can set up multiple bags of feed to constantly have that thing as full as possible. And we just have to keep an eye on it. So we can, we can probably go multiple days. I mean, we, we really have to be smart and safe about it, but that is what it looks like when it's fully filled up. It took three bags of feed that's impressive and it it does it does look like they're eating so that's that's good news for us and i think it appears that chelsea and i are, are back on the same page so that's that's a positive so i've been trying to figure out where we can actually sleep through to the next day just kind of past time it looks like you can't just sleep at any point in time it's 7 30 currently it's not letting us go to sleep maybe by uh maybe by eight i mean especially especially with the rain out here we we can't see or do a dang thing. It's it's pretty. I mean, night sky's kind of lit up out here. Maybe close the front door might help, I guess. I don't know. We're out here in the sticks. Nobody's going to mess with us. So, uh, let's see. Still can't sleep. I'm wondering if it... I mean, we worked hard all day long. We should be able to go to bed early. We got to wake up at the crack of dawn and get things going again. Let's try uh, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is your bedtime. At 8 p.m., you can fall asleep, wake up at 7.50 a.m. the next day. Looks like it's it's still still raining a bit, a little bit overcast. How are the chicks doing? They might be a little bit cold and such, but uh, they're doing all right. They did not give us any eggs. Slow and steady wins the race. We we have $520. I mean, it's it's going to take so long just going egg by egg. Bounce, it go wow, wow. It's got to like, you know, sims when you're woohooing. They have the little the hearts show up above it. Is there an egg dropped? That's how quick it works right there. All right, so if we if we keep our eye on, I'm I'm not trying to be weird or anything, but I'm just trying to make sure y'all are doing your jobs. We keep an eye on it. Every time we see the hearts, it's a new egg dropped. 
so I'm just kind of trying to try to plan out our, our farm going forward. I mean, I in, in an ideal world, we're going to have three premium chicken coops in these three spots, which I mean, by the way, we are going to have to uh, have to cut cut this this guy down. So we might as well just kind of take it out now. But yeah, we're going to we're going to have those there. And then obviously we have our barn over here. I'm just I'm, I'm worried. We really need to walk before we can run. And I, like if we spend nine hundred dollars on this barn. I mean, it, it, it's taking everything we have to get up there. We're at 520 right now. I mean, we'll, we'll be able to afford it here in a day or two. But then we're going to need even more money to be able to buy the pigs. And then we need to buy the pig feed. And then we need to, you know, do keep that going. Keep keep doing that thing. So I'm, I'm wondering I'm wondering if we really need to, to build our chicken empire first. I'm wondering if that's, if that's going to be our best idea. By the way, I did figure out you can drop the tailgate on this thing. And then that way you can get bigger items in there like our planks and stuff that fell out earlier so we got to keep keep that in mind now we like i said we we can make money hunting which we're going to focus on hunting in the next episode just to uh you know keep things neat and organized and themed but um yeah i'm, I'm wondering if we just go straight chicken empire to start because they're the cheapest animals cheapest livestock to work with they um you know don't take much in terms of housing and they they actually pay back fairly fairly decently how many eggs do we currently have in there S still just one but pull this guy back around in here this is dude this is really nice we can literally pull it up in here shut it off get out and then now we have all these logs that we can line up neatly to uh to be ready for our next table saw session and the best part is we can do the same thing with the planks so if you guys see, like, grab one, two, and three planks, we can set them in here like this. And I'm pretty sure we can we can probably even just cut a... St oh, we can't stack them. Oh, you can stack them. One, two, three. So we got three planks there. And then we could grab three more. We could stack three more on top. One, two, three. Look at that. So when we're ready to build that barn, we're going to be able to be very efficient with it. We just need... Uh, we need money. What I'm thinking, we're, we're just going to have to take this slower than we, we thought. I mean, eventually we're gonna want premium. Premium would be the best. It, it's just that's that's so expensive at this point. What I'm thinking, let's let's build a second medium chicken coop. It's gonna set us back temporarily, but in the long run, it's gonna help us. Oh, remove the grass first. Shoot. Okay, let me hop on this bad boy real quick. In the long run, it's it's gonna get us to our goals faster. So we're gonna set up a second premium chicken coop. We're gonna put more chickens in there. We're gonna get more uh, more eggs, and just kind of keep keep doing that thing. I almost feel like maybe in the the one with the rooster, maybe we just don't take those eggs and no that starts supplying the chickens for us. I don't know if you can if you can, you know, sell full chickens or if you can only sell eggs, but we'll just have to start experimenting a bit. This kinda reminds me of, of House Flipper. Dude, outside just mowing the grass. It is so relaxing. Just watching these little little blades of grass disappear under our lawnmower. All right, so nice, nice work there. We're good to go. So now, like I said, we're we're just we're gonna start small. We're gonna do what we know so far. Let's build up this second chicken coop and go buy some more chickens. I've got an amazing new discovery here. We've got a flashlight. Had no clue. So now we can actually kind of work at night a little bit, even though I mean, as you guys have seen, there's not really much we can do right at this moment. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Can we take this and go sell it? Oh my gosh, that's genius. Now the the General store is going to be closing here soon, but this this might actually work out for us. Chels, I'm so, uh, do we want to sell the first Chels that's up here next to our nightstands? Uh, I mean, we kind of need the money, but I guess I guess we'll leave her for now. We'll we'll see what kind of a price she'll fetch. But um, yeah, this is nice. We're going to be able to work at night a little bit. Uh, it does. Now, do we have to clean their droppings or anything? That's that's looking that's looking pretty nasty in there. I'm not going to lie. Do I have to clean that up? Hold E to remove. You do have to clean it up. So that's going to make him a little bit happier. I think that might have been her issue. Dude, we've got to we've got to clean the, the poop out of the coop. Eight eggs. Looks good to me. We've got one, one dead chicken we might be able to sell to. Now, since we do know that we can make money hunting, I would imagine any kind of meat, you know, deer meat, chicken meat, doesn't matter. Hopefully, they're still going to gonna take our... Uh, Take our product and uh, let's go ahead and go to town. We got a nice little shortcut through the trees there, so we don't have to 
take the road around, try to save some gas. We are at about 50% on our tank. Now, the gas wasn't too expensive, but we just have to keep that in mind. You got to be careful, dude. We need to make sure we don't spend all of the money that we have. And then we put ourselves in a position where, where we can't afford anything else going forward. But um, just so steady, man. We're going to, you know, build up a couple of chicken coops, maybe a third one as well. Kind of master the art of the chicken. And then it's going to be time to move forward with the other livestock. I did see a, a, a pro tip in the comments. You can actually back your gator up to the deck here. And then you can get out. And then if you have a ton of things to sell... You can just pick it up and, and walk through here. So I'm going to place that down. We're going to pick this up. We're going to place this down. And let's see what kind of what kind of profits we're working with. So one chicken meat is going to get us $24. Uh, eggs are $6 each. So we're going to make 48 bucks here. I guess we can. I mean, dude. I'm. I, are we going to be able to make enough money? Because we're going to need feed for the chicken. Dude, this, this is tough. It's 50 bucks for a chicken. So I'm going to get one of each. We don't need a rooster this time, but we're also, we need, we need feed. I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, we, we should be okay. We're, we're just, you know, you, you got you to gotta invest in your future a bit. We're investing in our future here. I really, I didn't even think about it. I hope we can fit the, the egg basket on here. I, I don't even have enough money to buy a second basket, so we better be able to. This is this is a nightmare. Be able to put him there. We should have enough enough space for the basket. Really loading this gator pretty pretty tight here, but uh, hopefully we're gonna be okay. There it is. All right, cool. Let's uh let's get out of here. Yeah, man. It, it's I mean humble beginnings. That's for sure. We're gonna be able to do some hunting. The good news is, is we we don't personally have to like you know feed ourselves. We'd we'd be in trouble if we had to feed ourselves. As of right now, all we have to worry about is just keeping our chickens alive, and hopefully they can make enough eggs to be able to do that. Come back home here. Kind of nice that we found this little shortcut. The other thing we have to really keep in mind: we need to keep an eye on their health and stuff. We need to make sure that we're always picking up the the poo. That's something that I feel like you could just kind of not realize and forget about easily and stuff like that. Not a good idea at all. So we're going to pick that up. We're going to pick this up, throw this in here. Technically, I think we could have fit these guys in the previous coop, but I just like to give them a, a little a little more space. So I'm going to throw him in there. Let's throw, or I guess, her. None of these are hims. So this chica in here and then one more. And we should uh, should have a nice little egg factory going here so i think i'm gonna see y'all in the next episode like i said we really need to start start hunting sooner rather than later we need to make some money and uh, i think that's the best option currently available to us until we start you know money begets money once we get invested into the farm we've we've got our buildings got our livestock and stuff it's not going to be an issue but it's an issue up front so we got to grind so i'm going to see you in the next one we're going to hunt some deer and maybe some grizzly bears